Since we have already reviewed radiation physics involved with scanning, we will now describe how patient dose is measured in a CT image or procedure and how the dose is affected by the value of KV, MA, auto MA, and pitch. A discussion of the reduction methods used will also help us to understand how to achieve quality images utilizing the lowest doses possible. Remember, we must always keep Alara in the back of our minds. Computed Tomography Dose Index, known as CTDI, currently is not used, but was the original equation used to calculate the patient dose in CT. It was developed by the Federal Drug Administration, or FDA, and represents the mean absorbed dose in a scanned object measured in grays. There is also volume CTDI, or volume, which can be used to calculate dosage from a spiral scan per slice of tissue. Some feel this method may undervalue the dosage given to the patient. The volume CTDI is defined by using an acrylic phantom and is not a dose to an actual patient. Currently, the quantity that is being used as an indicator of patient dose from CT examinations is the dose length product, or DLP. The effective dose can be calculated from the DLP using conversion coefficients that have been proposed for specific routine examinations or by using special software. This gives us the measurement of the total amount of exposure for a series of scans as opposed to one slice. This is dependent on and directly proportional to the scan length. It is the product of volume CTDI and the scan length. First, it is important to know that X-ray penetration is an X exponentially decreasing function of patient thickness. Thus, larger patients will need much larger doses. We use high KVP to penetrate large people, large bony people, and bone. As we increase KVP, more of the beam penetrates the tissue with higher energy so they interact more accordingly to the Compton effect. This produces more scatter radiation, which increases image noise, reduces contrast, and increases dose. The type of interactions that occur between a patient's body and X-ray photons are a function of the selected KVP. Increasing the KVP will improve the signal-to-noise ratio, but decreasing the KVP will reduce patient dose, especially in pediatric cases and small adults. For contrast resolution of gray-white matter or soft tissue in the brain, high technique is necessary. Imaging in large patients can also be improved by using the maximum KVP along with an increase in scan time. Let's now look at MAS and its effect on dose. MAS also has an effect on patient dose. It determines the total number of electrons and only the quantity of the photons are affected by the change in MAS. When mass is selected, remember the longer scan times will require longer tube cooling and can cause an increase in patient motion. But an increase in scan rotation time will result in better resolution. 
Increasing MAS and KVP will improve the signal-to-noise ratio, but also increase the dose to the patient. Remember, doubling the MAS will result in an increase in the volume CTDI. Automatic correction adjusts dose as a function of patient size in the anterior to posterior and lateral directions. The lateral projection generally encounters more tissue thickness than a PA view. This is known as MA modulation, and the MA is increased and decreased as the patient is scanned. Most systems use an average MA to calculate the volume CTDI. So now let's look at pitch and its importance in dose reduction. Spiral pitch or helical pitch is defined as the ratio of the distance the tube travels per rotation to the total collimated x-ray beam width. It can also be defined as an extension or contraction of the helix. Pitch has an inverse relationship to dose. If pitch increases by two, dose is reduced to one half. Pitch affects not only patient dose, but image quality as well. One major problem with a single slice, single row detector is related to the length of time needed to acquire the data. Multi-detector configuration is a form of computed tomography for diagnostic imaging. In MDCT, a two-dimensional array of detector elements replace the linear array of detector elements used in typical conventional and helical CT scanners. The two-dimensional detector array permits CT scanners to acquire multiple slices or sections simultaneously and greatly increases the speed of CT image acquisition. You should first understand the basics of helical CT. The main challenge in cardiac CT is temporal resolution. In other words, imaging fast enough to freeze the motion of the heart. If you are too slow, or image at the wrong time, your images will be blurred by the contraction of the heart. Gating techniques are used to improve temporal resolution and minimize imaging artifacts caused by cardiac motion. Two approaches to cardiac gating are typically used, perspective ECG triggering and retrospective ECG gating. The least cardiac motion occurs during diastole when the ventricles are passively filling. In addition to imaging with high temporal resolution, we must image at the correct time, in synchrony with the cardiac cycle. There are two methods of accomplishing this the perspective and retrospective ECG gating. Perspective gating or perspective ECG triggering only acquires images during the cardiac distally. The scanner simply waits in between. Retrospective gating acquires images continually throughout the cardiac cycle and simply pieces together images from the desired phase, typically diastole for anatomic imaging, after the entire exam is completed. There are advantages and disadvantages to each. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, 
check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.